Hello, my name is Thomas DeHaas. I'm the Ohio State University Agriculture and Natural Resource Educator for Lake County Extension Office, Lake County, Ohio. Because I work with agriculture and natural resources, a lot of my work is done with the nurseries in Lake County. But I also do things with homeowners and some with the vineyards in Lake County as well as some of the fruit and vegetable growers. So, I hope that you enjoy spending some time with me as that I taught school for a number of years in elementary school science for eight years. And here we are in late October. You can see the sugar maple leaves on the ground. It's interesting, but when you look at sugar maple, that leaf actually looks like the Canadian maple leaves, which is a professional hockey team, but you can see that, where the Toronto maple leaves, and the Canadian flag has a maple leaf on it. Well, this is sugar maple. You can see the tree up here with some fall color on it. And if you look at the buds, really closely you can see the buds are pointed on a sugar maple pointy buds maples are all pretty much the same from the standpoint that they all have leaves that are opposite which means they come off the stem across from each other you can see those two leaves are coming right off the stem uh, right off the main stem and they're opposite so if you hold your arms up in the air it's almost like your arms are connected across from each other, and that's the way the leaves are on a sugar maple. Across the row, we have red maple, and it is just beautiful. So, we'll take a look at red maple, and a little bit more look at sugar maple and the buds. And here we car have it with a carpet of red leaves all underneath this red maple. Gorgeous. Don't you just wanna jump in these? We have red maple right here, and you can see that that's a really bright red fall color, not quite as orange as a sugar maple, but the buds are a little bit different. The buds are in clusters, and we're gonna take a look at that in a second. Just got some beautiful red maples right here. So thinking about red maple, if we take a real close look at those buds, there's a cluster of buds right there. It's all clustered together. And the red maple leaf actually has three roots. Oh, look away for me a little bit there. But it actually got, has three sides to it. You can see that there's three points, just two lobes. Here's another picture of it right here. You can see that there's kind of two distinct points and then the rest are not. Sugar maple's a little different. Sugar maple actually has five points on it. You can kind of see that the two down here the two down here, one, two, three, four, five. And again, we said sugar maple has that really pointy single bud on the end, right there you can see that. So a single pointy bud. But when you look at the two, sugar maple has that nice orange fall color. Red maple has a really red fall color. Again, one of my most favorite times of the year, just spectacular. I didn't tell you this, but we're going to take a little quiz in a couple minutes. And so just to review a little bit, we're looking at a red maple leaf, three points, and kind of a cluster of buds there, that cluster of buds, not single buds. There's a good picture of that cluster of buds on red maple. Remember, sugar maple has that pointy bud. The red maple has that cluster of buds, which is beautiful. We have the two leaves next to each other. We have the red maple with the three points on your left-hand side, and the red ma and the sugar maple on the right-hand side with five points. And again, sugar maple has that pointy bud, one single pointy bud, and that will help to remind you what you need to do. So I'm gonna ask you to take out a piece of paper I'll give you a little couple minutes to do that. I got a piece of paper and we're going to take a short quiz, which I think you'll find really easy because you know a lot about sugar maple and red maple now. Number your paper one to five. So now that you numbered your paper one to five, make sure you put your name on it. 
going to do questions one at a time. So question number one. Which maple had the pointy bud? It was a single pointy bud. Which one was that? Question number one. Was it sugar maple or was it red maple? And if you can't spell sugar or red, just put an S or an R. Question number two. Which maple had a group of buds? A whole bunch of buds kind of hanging out together. Which maple was that? Was it sugar or red maple? Question number three. Which maple has five points and looks orange? Five points, was that sugar or red? Question number four. Which maple leaf had three points? Was it red maple or sugar maple? Three points. Question number five, which was your favorite? You like sugar maple? Which was that orangish fall color? Or do you like red maple, the red fall color? Time to check your answers. Number one was sugar maple. And that had a orange leaf with a pointy bud. Number two is red maple red leaf with a cluster of buds. Number three, sugar maple, had a single pointy bud and orange color. Number four, red maple, had a red colored leaf and a cluster of buds again. And question number five, what did you like better? Do you like sugar maple? Or red maple. I can't tell you that I like either one better. I like them both. I love the red fall color of the red maple and I love the orange fall color of the sugar maple. I hope you do too. Well I've enjoyed spending time with you guys. Hope you have a good day.